Do they not realise it's England's heritage? It's England's culture. What are they trying to stop? Well, you could see a racist, couldn't you? OK, so we're in the square at Stone the Wold this evening. It's 8.30 at night, and as you can see, it's absolutely deserted. It's because of the Gypsy Fair, which comes to Stow every May, every year. And the town, for the last 10 years or so, has decided to completely close down. All the pubs shut, all the hotels shut, a lot of the shops shut as well. And reason for that, so the town says, is because there's been a lot of trouble from travellers in the past. They say that uh, things have been stolen, um, that fights have broken out. Now, we're not here to prove or disprove that. We're just questioning whether it's fair on the travellers themselves, whether it's fair on the locals, whether it's fair on the tourists that would normally come here to stay in the hotels or even the people that are just visiting for the day, right? So that is what we're going to look at today. First time me today, so you have to ask someone. Are you all good to meet as multi-person? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Yeah, I bet you. They must, they must be doing business to shut for one day when they can take plenty of money in the town. Pubs are shut, uh, butchers are shut. Don't they want to take money? These people spend money. If I went into the town, I'd spend money, support the cafe, support everything. But it looks to us that they don't want us. So if they don't want us, we don't want them. That's right. We won't support them. Well, my family and myself have been coming to Stowfair for years and we've always enjoyed coming and it's always been a lovely atmosphere and People who deal in horses and things like my husband and family, they enjoy coming here because they trade in horses and have a good time, catch up with family who we've never seen for a long time. And when the weather's fine, it is a lovely experience. Now, I've heard that this has been going on for 600 years. Yeah, that's right. Here. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. that true? That's true. It was in the 14th summer, I think, in the King John Charter. No good looking at me, Charter. Charter, 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 Charter Fair. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, and there's other uh, travellers' fairs that go on around the UK. Yeah, right? yeah, Appleby, Appleby Appleby Fair. Uh, where's another one? League Up, League League Up, about the oldest fair in the country, I think. They'll yeah. tell you, well, the lads will tell you, like, you know, with the lads with the wagons, yeah. they'll tell you more. And, and uh, like, the purpose of it is obviously a social event, but also, what else? Horse trading, isn't it? Been going on, all, you know, all their lives, this is what the people do. Um, of course, families meet who they never see, and you only see them at funerals, you see them here, like, you know. There's good and bad in all people, in all walks of life. And I don't think it's fair that the people who just come for a peaceful time and to enjoy themselves all get tired with the one brush. But a lot of the problem is, and it's with a lot of different towns and cities where travelling people and gypsy people stop, the people, the old timers who lived in these places and of course who've died and passed on and either moved on, they loved the fair and were used to it. But the newcomers who come, uh, they sort of think, oh no, we don't want these, we don't want that, we don't want these gypsies. But did they not realise it's England's heritage? It's England's culture. What are they trying to stop? Do we have no culture in England anymore? Do we become like Russia, told what to do, what to wear, what to eat and what to drink? No, it's a free country, it's England. You'll always find aggravation where nobody participates and knows nothing about someone, isn't it? It's even the, the Asians have it something in the park. We have a look at their things, a good deal, they're all clean and tidy, but we'll look at them and look, who cares, they're enjoying this all. You know, yeah. that's their community. Yeah. If you break the community up, you know, what have we got? You know, you've lost your culture. This must be the, one of the oldest cultures in the country now. 
Yeah, this is part of, of, of British English yeah, of course it is, culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think some of the people that live in Stowe in their big houses are not aware of that. That's right. Well, they don't want to know, do they? You know, you know all this gypsies come in, the gypsies is begin. It's like Appleby Fair. The, the, the rip, ripped half the road, roadside up there. You know, it's a cost of thousands to stop people going to the fair. After hundreds and hundreds of years, you know. So, what's that all about? Culture is all sorts, and it comes in many forms and descriptions, but it all belongs to make up England. I'm proud to be English. I'm proud that this is my country. But lately, I'm thinking, what's happening? What's going wrong? To me, it's not understanding people. You know, you get a next door neighbour coming to their house and think, I wonder what he's like, I wonder who he is. Of course, you got a few hundred or a thousand coming to your town, and you think, oh, but it's been going on that long, so they should be used to it now. This field is owned by the travellers, is that correct? It is. It is, yes. So no matter what the town does, like this will just keep going? Well, the fair's a chartered fair anyhow, so I don't know how they would have to go to stop it, but it would have to go to governments and whatever. I don't know the legal side of things, but it's been a fair for hundreds and hundreds of years. It hasn't sort of just come on top of people. Oh, we'll make a gypsy fair there. It's always been there. And you know the people who don't like it should book a week's holiday and go away. You're here, what, just to make sure there's no trouble? Or? We're just supporting the RSPCA. Oh, yeah, right. So the RSPCA yeah. are here, of course, because of the amount of animals yeah. here. Yeah. 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 So th there's only a couple of officers on site. Yeah. So. Okay, it's been okay. pretty it peaceful this well, year because I live in the town. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, well, there's certainly some beautiful animals here. Keep. Yeah. Yeah. At the moment, we're involved yeah. to come out here to tell people yeah. about the one true living God. Okay, and um, do you go to like the travellers' fairs all around the UK? Child, yes, we do. How's this one stack up to, in comparison to the others? So Appleby and that. My family comes here, and he's so excited. No, would you mind? See, can, can you hear this? My family, we come here just to tell people about the truth. And to me, the Bible says the fair of God is going to be from people, and this is evidence. People's on that way of stuck to tell. But Jesus don't want that. So Jesus allowed us today by the scriptures to say, do you know what? Do you he died upon the cross for our sin. Do, do you forgive um, the people of Stowe for their um, for their attitude towards the, the fair, the fact that they close all the time? Uh, and the, the... Ain't I got a bad attitude sometimes? Don't you have a bad day? I do. So it's just a bad day for them, eh? What happens here? You get to see your mates and what else? Dealing, buying stuff. Slapping some dick. Yeah, are there a lot of these fairs up and down the yeah. country? Yeah. yeah. I went to one in Ireland on the weekend. Oh, you did? Okay. Um, and is, is, that, are there, is, that, is it different to the ones here, the ones in Ireland? Not really. No, okay. Not, not, not as much stalls. There's more soul here? No, more stalls. Where have you come from today to be at this fair? Haverford West. West Wales. West Wales, yeah. And uh, do, you, do you come to all the travellers' fairs? Most of them, yeah. Yeah, we do. We yeah, try we do, to yeah. get to most of them, yeah. Okay, now what, 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 what happens here? Like, I mean, obviously it's a social event. It's just, yeah, just nice to meet people and who you maybe haven't seen for a while, you know? Yeah. But it's, yeah. we enjoy, we enjoy coming, so. Nice. Right, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, I, I've lived in the town so, like, yeah. some of the time, yeah. right? I find the uh, attitude of this town towards this fair somewhat. Uh, um, I don't really understand it. It's uh, yeah, most the way of the everything. Shops are closed, aren't they? And yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, do, does that happen at the other fairs that, that you go to, <laughs> or is it just Stowe? I'm not sure. I just think it's Stowe. I think I'm not sure right. about others. Maybe, but yeah. It seems to be pretty peaceful this year. Would you Would you agree with that? Yeah, I think so. We haven't. I mean, we've only come up for today. We've been deployed up here. We haven't had anything so far. Right. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. We've got like different agencies working with us as well. So we've we'll got county council with us. Yeah. We've got a traveller liaison lady yeah. that will sort of liaise between us all. So that's really helping, and that's built a lot of bridges over the years. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 And also, I noticed the RSPCA are here as well. Yeah. Yeah. They come up every year. 
yeah. yeah. They do come up every year, yeah. And, and, and she said that, um, you know, uh, there haven't really been many issues this year. Nope. Okay. I'll what just else? keep walking around, just making sure and keeping an eye out and so. Right, so the only shop open in Stowe is a co-op. Um, as you can see, they've got a security guard here. But the question is, if they can stay open, why can't everybody else? 